Hi dear Udoers, it's nice to see you again today with this video about financial reporting. At Pinkars, we must have all our reports on time to comply with legal requirements and monitor our company's financial health. On our Udo database, we can access our legal and managerial reports in a few clicks. So let's see what it looks like. Let's start from the dashboard again. In the menu reporting, we have lots of reports. So let's start with the journal reports, one of my favorites. From here on, you can change the periodicity, of course. Uh, this one is for the last financial year. You can define some of the journals uh, or all of them, and you can define to include unposted entries as well. But as from here, you will see all the different transactions from a specific journal. If you close it, you will see all the other ones as well. What is great about it is that from here, you can dive into the journal items as well to see all the different details. And from here, you can easily adapt. So for example, if your sales invoices were all wrong, you can filter all the revenue accounts over there, select all of them and change it as from here. So if the account was wrong, just select another account and in one click, you can update all your transactions as well. So let's dive back to our journal report, because also another great advantage is, for example, for the vendor bills, is that on the bottom of the page, you will have an overview of the impacted VAT grids. You can click on the audit button in order to see the detailed VAT as well. And if you dive into a specific account, you will even see the image attached to it. So that's about the journal report. Now let's see about some output reports, some compliance reports. If you click on the reporting, we can start with the balance sheet. If we open the balance sheet, it will open the balance sheet of your localization. If you want to change to the generic one, you can also click over here and switch to a generic balance sheet or jump back to the one in your specific localization. My um, pink card is a Belgium company, so this one is in Belgium. If we are in France, in Germany or in any other, other company in the world, you will see you will be able to switch between uh, the one of your localization. Also from here, you can change the date. You can add one or more comparisons, like you can see over here, or you can um, um, remove them. No comparison, for example. You can filter on one or different journals. So for example, if you only want the transactions um, from your bank Belfius, just click over here and the balance sheet will adapt with only those transactions or jump back to all the transactions. You can also filter on the analytic accounting. So if you want to see only the transactions of one of your plans or one of your accounts, just click over here and it will immediately be filtered. So let's jump back. Uh, and last but not least, of course, you have the possibility to include the unposted entry as well. So the balance sheet is constructed um, based upon how it is in your localization. But if you want to dive into detail, it's very easy to jump from one report to another one. For example, let's dive a little bit deeper. And if I can see on my balance sheet um, the benefit of the year, I can click over there in order to jump into my profit and loss accounts. And if I want more detail about a specific account, um, I can open it from here and dive, for example, in my revenue account. And from here, I can dive into the general ledger in order to have the detail. You will see over here in the general ledger that it gives a detail of the balance of one account. And if you're not sure yet, from here, you can even drill down to the invoice itself in order to have the image as well and the detail of the invoice. So if you want to jump back, don't worry, you will not lose the history. You can jump back to your general ledger, to your profit and loss and to your balance sheet. Also, last but not least, every report in Udo can be saved in PDF or exported in Excel. So that was it for financial reporting. See you next time.